Today I'm going to show you what food options are included with your cruise fare on board in Independence pants of the seas and all you need to know about these venues. Let's kick this video tour off and one of the best places for free include dining options and that is none other than the main dining room. We're up here on deck for five and there is three decks. You have deck three, deck four, and then deck five here. At the dining room is where you can enjoy some of the best options in terms of free food from steak as well as other dishes as well here. Again, you can't go wrong here in the main dining room here on board the beautiful independence of the seas. It is a great free included option here. Again, this is a great free dining option open for breakfast and dinner. And then they also do have sea day brunch, which again is only open on sea days for lunch. So this is a good option here. Now for terms of seating, you can go ahead and get my time, which is on the lower deck. And that is when you can show up and they'll seat you when the table is free. There also is your normal seating times with your first seating on this ship specifically at 545 and then second seating at 830 here. It is a good option here. I always try to hit it up on the cruises because again, it is included in the quality of food you get is pretty good. So again, a great option. Now let's go ahead to a more casual option than this at the Windjammer. If you're looking for a more casual option, you can head to the Windjammer marketplace and here it is pretty much open all day for breakfast lunch and dinner as well this is a buffet style restaurant where you can find different cuisines from american indian and in other international cuisines and it is again a buffet style perfect for those families as well as people just looking for a great and quick bite to eat on board the ship you can get a full meal here so it's not small portions as much again it says a buffet so it's as much or as little as you want also on deck 11 is fish and chips which is a fish and chips style restaurant here on board servicing british classics such as fish and chips as well as chicken tenders chicken fingers fried chicken and crispy fish sandwiches complimentary now know that there is some food such as the fried lobster basket which is an additional charge but this is a great restaurant if you're looking for some free included options on your cruise and these are perfectly small portions so you know it's just a little to tie you over until the next meal speaking of next meal let's head to the royal promenade but first if you are enjoying this guide to the beautiful independence of the seas including food options please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you learn about when new videos from independence as well as other ships drop Anyway, back to the Royal Promenade. Another option for a quick bite is Cafe Promenade, which is located right behind me. Here they service a number of options. You can get drinks here. Now those aren't included, but you do can get specialty made coffees, as well as teas and other beverages there in the Cafe Promenade behind me. But also in the Cafe Promenade, what is included is you can get a variety of sweet treats or some food to increase your energy there at Cafe Promenade with sandwiches, and things like that a good option and again the hours are very very late here so if you are needing a early morning snack or a late night one cafe promenade is another one of those options speaking of late nights let's head to sorrento's now if you're a big pizza fan well you're not going to be disappointed here on board the beautiful independence of the seas you got yourself sorrento's which is behind me at Sorrento's, you can get yourself a variety of pizzas like the classics, cheese, pepperoni, but then they rotate throughout with a special pizza, typically the barbecue chicken, Caribbean dream, meat lovers, just to name a few here, you can go ahead and get it. Now it is open up late, so a really great spot here on board the Royal Promenade. Now this is not the only restaurant here on the Royal Promenade, as I mentioned a little earlier, you also have the Cafe Promenade, which is a good option as well if you're not looking for this pizza, but if you're a big pizza fan, this is the place. One more place you can get free food on the ship is at the Sprinkles Ice Cream Station located near Splashaway Bay, the kids water park on board on the Lido deck. This services vanilla, chocolate, and swirl ice cream where you can go ahead and get some fantastic free ice cream throughout the cruise. The portions again are perfectly sized so you can go ahead and get more if you're hungry or you just want a little thing to tie you over. Again, perfect size. That's one of the things I love that this ship nailed is portion size. It's not too big and yet it's not too small. Well, that is going to conclude this dining tour for included options here on board the beautiful Independence of the Seas. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing if you are new to the channel. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see more Independence of the Seas, check this playlist up here. This is where I show you more of this amazing show.